Previously on Subnautica. Thinking entirely too highly of my skills, I took my portable oxygen tank named Spanky over to a bottomless pit. From there, I descended straight past the point of madness and directly into the stage of runny pants pooping. After an unceremonious death at the hands of oxygen deprivation, I buffed up my power spank by strapping on a Mark I depth module, which apparently makes the suit even more delicious. Realizing that the new max depth was still not enough, I did what any smart capitalist would do and began furiously drilling some precious minerals. The new depth module allowed me to slide through some hot and narrow tunnels to find a magic box. Inside, I found nothing much beyond whispers of a place to the south-southeast that held all the answers to all of my questions, and where prawn suits would never get stuck. Yeah, that last part sounds way too good to be true. This is Lutz Magoots. Our adventure awaits. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, creature egg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is definitely where I came from, right? I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. I think I had died so close to that facility. Okay. Um, and it is really dark. Yeah, there it is. That's the actual creature, okay? Not just the tentacles this time. Okay, if it's going that way, I'm going to go this way. Oops. Okay, but this looks promising. This is, well, I mean, promising for my odds of finding something. Not really promising for life. Okay, there's some more dead skeletons. Dead skeletons. I don't know that I've ever seen an alive skeleton. Oh, there are so many warpers. It is unreal. Oh, hang on, is that a... It's kind of... It's it's light, but oddly dark, and so I don't know if I'm... It looks like there's a tunnel this way. Okay. This is something. Not funny, guys. Not freaking funny. Now let's see here. Yeah, I don't see a way out from this area. Only thing I could do was to... Uh, the only thing I could think to do was grab the sea glide and start mapping this out, but it doesn't look like there's another way to uh, ascend from here. Just kind of in an empty cavern. We are also about half... Hell, uh, half battery right now in this prawn suit, which is uh, of much larger concern to me right now than anything else, because I don't know how to get back out of here. And if I do have to get out of here, I have to do so with just the sea glide. Hang on a second. My compass isn't spinning so much. Okay, this way? No, now it's spinning a lot. But before it started spinning, this way was southeast. Okay. The giant creature is like... Oh, that's not good. The giant creature is kind of popping in and out, but it is right above me. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like... There's another one? There are two? What is going on in this? Wait, do I need to go that way? Or that way? Wait, what is that? That's the sunbeam? Or not the sunbeam, the aurora? Okay, my game is maybe taking a slight poop on me. But hang on, this is promising, right? This might be another 200 meters down. I need to go further down. Hang on, there's a cave that goes this way. That was super weird. Oh gosh. No, you can't fit in here, right? You are not allowed in here.
What is going on? I am what you seek. Want to help you. I don't trust anything right now. I'm sure you won't uh, blame me for this. What is going on? Is there a place I can land down here? Okay, there is. Oh, gosh. I thought I was just falling straight to my death. Okay. Oh, I need to catch my breath. I need to... Okay, now that's going straight through walls. That is not cool at all. I cannot do that. We're at about 45% battery as well, so this could get really, really bad. Oh my gosh. I really wish I had gotten that thermal uh, battery thing for this. It was an option, but I didn't have the stuff for it. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that looks promising. Just trying to make sure I'm not going to become fish food. Okay, there's something right there and there. I'm going to go towards those things. Oh my gosh, look at the ground, though. I think I can make it over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, something just loaded in and that... Freaking clown pincher is out of here. I don't blame it. Oh my gosh. It's like the Emerald City. Oh, please let me get there. Please let me get there. But also, please let me be able to get out of here. <laughs> I have no idea how I got here. My compass is absolutely abysmal. And where did that... I don't know where it went. This is huge. Oh, there's something needed here. Okay, I have a blue tablet. Please let it be the blue tablet. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, <laughs> I was going to crap my pants. Okay, and then now what I need to... I have I have ion cubes, right? I should grab at least a couple of them. I have... Yeah, let's grab two ion cubes. Hopefully there's a portal in here. Something I can use. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this scared the crap out of me. Okay. Fine. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning: Vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg catching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Wait, why? Ion cube fabricator. This is making ion cubes? Oh, I don't like that. Stop, 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 please. Please, I don't like it. Oh, that is so scary. Okay, hang on. The device appears to be the origin of the raw mineral that forms the base of the ion cubes, which power smaller alien systems, likely drawing power itself from the main thermal plant. This device may represent an almost limit, almost limitless source of energy. Okay, there's some data up there. What are these sounds for? Oh God, fell right off the ramp. What are these sounds for? Enzyme 42 project data. Enzyme 42 project data. According to translated data logs, an indigenous Leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the Kara bacterial infection in other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life form's environmental needs, including the import of interdependent flora and fauna visit via an on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine had been unsuccessful. Okay, so there's a creature that seems to be immune to the Kara and can also maybe provide a vaccine, but it hasn't worked yet. Preserved fetus. Is this one of the fetuses? Is this the thing that got sick? Sea Emperor fetus. Found preserved in a display case, it was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Physiolo physiology. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. Sun of tissue development suggests the organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract. 
analysis. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes reduced in the specimen's digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. So, but what, they cut open an egg? That's very stupid, right? We can all agree on that. Okay, I'm going to try to go, let's see, we came down the ramp. We'll try to go left to right of these rooms. And hopefully these bots don't get pissed off by me being here. Rooms are mostly empty. Oh, thank goodness, a portal. Okay, hopefully it takes me somewhere good, though. Let's test this out right quick. Okay, we are in a cave. What kind of cave? This does not look familiar. We are... Wait, 500 meters from Lost River. Does that mean we're close to Home Sweet Home? Hang on, 1822... Whoa, are you kidding me? 200 meters from home sweet home? This is crazy. This is an absolute game changer. Uh, I did see a mesmer. Oh, it just killed that peeper. Couple mesmer. Uh, and a, okay, just a weird, okay. Oh, I really need a beacon now though. Holy crap. Okay, I have an idea though. I'm only 200 meters away from home sweet home, so I could bring, look at that. 1800 meters okay i have an idea here my idea is i'm gonna leave the prawn suit in the entrance of this cave and i'm gonna go craft a beacon i don't like using copper because i'm still short on that but i, I feel like i don't really have a choice all right we got ourselves a beacon let's go ahead and head back Wow, I cannot believe I missed this before. We'll go with portal to deep hell. All right. Oh, God. Mesmer freaking biting me? And then it just swam in there, no problem. Now, that's not... That is not fair. I cannot swim in air. All right, we're going to go ahead and take this prawn suit back and charge it up, and then we will be back momentarily. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Is that a twist deal? Why does it look like that? Power cell infused with alien ion technology. I need to put that into the two ion batteries. I need to put that into my prawn suit immediately. I'm going to do that. This may be a really dumb idea, but I kind of want to see it as well. It is massive. I don't think they have any greater health than the rest of them, though. <laughs> they sure don't. Man, David and Goliath. Look at me. This is the shadow of a killer, Bella. All right, if we look at the prawn suit, there's the torpedo arm. I could really use that grappling arm. But we just need some copper and some table coral, both of which are available near uh, the safe shallows life pod. I should maybe do a quick trip over there. Ooh, get freaking wrecked, crash fish. I decided to let these uh, currents take me down here because I figured they could be... I don't really remember using currents over here, so they could be something new, and I actually ended up finding up a few outcrops. All right, so I actually filled up my inventory with stuff I found, and uh, it was maybe my most productive search yet. Ooh, we only have th uh, two blood oils. We need three, so I'm going to go grab that for some benzene real quick. And as we know, that's not a great place to go. Kind of just instantly have regret. I made a little bit of a wrong turn as I got over here. Um, and it took me way longer to get over here than I thought, but I just sort of have instantly been hit with regret as soon as I got to the crater edge. Last time, it took a long time before anything actually showed up. Oh, I'm not so sure what to do. Oh, God. Oh, God. Instantly just died. My PDA is probably wondering if, uh, if whatever I'm doing is worth it. I'm certainly wondering. Maybe we're too deep. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, there they are. I wonder if we can get in and get out of here real quick. We just need... I'll see if I can grab four. Okay, we got four. And part of the problem is likely because... I don't think that's supposed to be the preferred way to get blood oil, but... um. You know, that's the way I know how to get it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the other way to get it. 
I can't imagine the crater edge is supposed to be like that, though. Okay, there's the grappling arm right there. And what are we missing for this? Polyaniline? So we probably just need to go get some deep shrooms. Recharges power cells in hot areas, doesn't stack. So that means if we're running around in that hot area, we should be good to go. Plus with the larger power cell, I think it means that our prawn suit is going to be kind of unstoppable, provided it doesn't get crushed. I feel a little stupid because I only just now realized that this could really hold two power cells at a time. <laughs> Obviously, I mean... I don't know why that never really occurred to me. I could have made a second ion power cell. I decided I'm going to make another ion power cell. I can put it in the, I can put it in my prawn suit, but when I get back to my sea moth, I'll be able to equip it with one of those as well. Um, but to make up for, I lost two other uh, ion batteries. I'm going to make one more ion battery here. I feel like maybe I'm being a little overly cautious, but that would be a that would be a break from the norm for me. I'm typically very undercautious. Gosh, I cannot I cannot put into words how grateful I am that we have this portal over here. I just feel so fortunate. <laughs> I was kind of dreading trying to come back to base and and now I just I don't have to. It's awesome. Okay, that seems a little bit uh was I riding that bone shark? It seems a little bit weird. Back into this massive base. There's still a lot to uncover. So that was just the far left door. I... I don't think I'll ever get used to that. <laughs> That's just so loud in my headphones. All right. That was only the far left door. I am... It seems like we have what five other doors plus that force field door which refreshing my memory what do i need for this one i need a blue tablet which i don't believe i have i don't have okay but we can actually make that i saw that it's just kyanite and an ion cube uh, which we do have we will come back to that i feel like that's sort of reserved right now i mean that's the only door that's protected so i feel like i'm sort of supposed to go through these other doors oh Oh, look, it was that a peeper going through the slide. <laughs> looks like a, a play place in here. A little McDonald's play place. I don't think that's the intention, but outflow pipe. Enzyme host peepers leaving the containment facility. Outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back towards the surface. Specimens show no symptoms of infection. All specimens scanned are carrying enzyme 42, which data suggests inhibits the bacterium. Specimen's stomach cavities are otherwise empty, suggesting they may have purged the contents before entering the pipes. As in, like, they puked? If peepers have evolved to distribute the enzyme via the pipe network, this may explain part of the mechanism by which life on 4546B has survived since the bacterial outbreak. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I don't know how long this outbreak has been going on, but in theory, like, everything would have died by now, right? Pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled... Oh, God! Oh, jeez, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, whew. Fish so no, show no signs of distress, unlike our dear friend Lutz. Specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter from the surface. Some specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. Yeah, so they, when they come in, they're infected. When they leave, they're not infected. Another portal? Wait, for real? Okay, how, I'm now considering how many ion cubes I have. If things are symmetrical in this facility, then uh, I will use one of my ion cubes here, and then there'd be a portal over on two more, two more portals on that side, and who knows about the center room that's blocked right now. I don't know how many portals I've seen. All right. This could be, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, okay. This is another cave. Get our bearings here. We're really far away from home sweet home. Uh, okay, any other beacons we could use to triangulate our position? I think that lighting was just a glitch. Any other beacons we can use? Okay, I don't know where we're at. We're still like, we're half a kilometer away. I don't know where we are. 
Could this be somewhere new? Wait, it's another... It's an underwater... Cave. Okay. I guess, yeah, I am 200... I'm 200 plus meters down. I didn't even really look at that. Um, okay. Very brief... Peek through here, I guess? Let's see if I even recognize the biome I'm in. Oh, I'm in the mushroom forest? Okay. That's... Something. Okay. Mushroom forest. I'll, uh... Man, I wish I had another beacon with me. We could, uh... We could maybe do the same hack where we bring the, uh... The prawn suit in over here in just a bit. But, uh, I think I'm gonna continue exploring first. Alright, so that's it for the rooms on this half. So, in theory, if my theory proves, we should have a portal in this room as well as this room. And there could be some more data over here. That's if this is a symmetrical building. And then, like I said, who knows what's going on over there. But let's find out if this could be, could be the case. And sure enough, it is. Okay, uh, I, I think I, I need to open these. I, I think it's going to be worth it. I have some more ion cubes back at the base. I don't really know how many, but... This has got to be worth it, right? Having an expansive... Oh, gosh. Okay, that's a prowler inside. I am not in water right now, so that that might just be a glitch. Oh, God, but it's a painful one. Okay, it's a painful one. This looks like the Lost River. Uh, this definitely looks like the Lost River. Let's continue on to get away from the Prowler. Okay, it is a... It is. It looks like it's just going right out to the... <laughs> These Prowlers done piss me off! I'm 600 plus meters down. Behind this waterfall so we should have another room where we're going to probably learn some stuff yep sure enough this room appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development 40 eggs wow okay so far i can't scan anything whoa that's a massive egg wow okay <laughs> can't scan that one either though that's an ampule egg. I know that one. I recognize that one anywhere. But there is this data terminal. Integrating new PDA data. See Emperor Leviathan research data. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upward to accommodate this species. I don't know what that means. Feeding and digestion. Alien research data indicates that despite its size, this species feeds entirely on microorganisms. It filters from the water which themselves depend on a complicated ecosystem of plant and animal life. Reproduction. Large ovary-like organs are carried in the creature's middle section, suggesting that, like other species on the planet, produces eggs. However, internal scar tissue indicates probable infertility. Enzyme 42. The emperor manufactures Enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its food and will occasionally expel it into the surrounding waters. This substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium, and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on the planet survived the outbreak. It would remain to be explained by what mechanism the enzyme is being delivered. Number four, health. Comparative analysis of size and metabolic rates indicates the specimen captured by the researchers was approximately 1,600 years old. Extensive internal and external scar tissue suggests it has lived well in excess of the peak lifespan for its species. Assessment. While a healthy emperor specimen may have held some potential as a cure, it is unlikely any research subject, subjects survive quarantine procedures. It is unlikely. Uh, 1,600 years old? So how is it staying alive? Next time on Subnautica.